<laughs> so um, we went to uh, various ports of call and I was very excited about our first port, which was San Juan, Puerto Rico. San Juan, Puerto Rico! Oh, I was so excited. Everybody was looking to me like I was going to be the expert on Puerto Rico. Because I'm half Puerto Rican and half Cuban. Which means there's insanity on both sides of my family. But I didn't really, you know, I didn't really know that much, you know, but, and I was always asked, like, you know, can, help us get to the fort. You know, so you always go to the fort. You gotta go to the fort in, in, in Puerto Rico. Any Anytime, no matter where you go, there's always a fort on vacation. And I went to, I went to the fort and it was like, wow, it was, it was you know, boring. Uh, it's a fort. War, who cares? And, uh, you know, I was like, oh, the cannon. Yay, oh, cannon. Yeah. I don't get it. The cannons, I mean, were really like the biggest weapon that they had back, you know, back in those old days with the, you know, older, older wars, you know? Not like our wars, which we have like really, you know, not, not us, but them. Those aren't our wars. Because women would never start a war. We'd start a rumor. And that is not... <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about. It's not us, but the war. In it. So, so the war today is, is frightening. It's techno technological. It's like there's no escaping. You know, they're just going to kill us all. Because they've just the, the robots have figured it out. It's not even the generals, you know. It's a, so it's like there's no way you can escape this. Our bombs zigzag, they break into bits, they follow you, the like GPS. Uh, but back then, I don't know. I, I could have like you know really made out and work because I totally the cannons were not that big a deal. It was just like a you know it's got that trunk and a, and then the cannonballs and those were the um, ammunition, the cannonballs, which were not that big. The cannonballs, have you ever looked at these things? About the size of my head. I've had a large head, but they're heavier. They're heavier than my head. You wouldn't want it to drop on your foot, but all it did was, it was stick it in the um, uterus. I don't know, I can't remember what they call it. <laughs> you light the back of the cannon, the gunpowder explodes, and it makes the cannonball go forward very, very fast in a straight line at the oncoming troops. And that is how millions of soldiers died. Needlessly, from cannonball fodder. Cannonballs! Killed them. I mean, maybe they were too stupid to live. I mean, please. It's just a ball. A heavy, heavy, like a bowling ball. Can bowling balls kill countries? I am no military expert, but if you ever see a big metal ball flying and heading towards you, move aside! What the? Oh! <laughs> the first soldier you could have excused for being taken in. He'd never seen that before. But the second soldier should have known better. Man down, socket blue. It's 